All right, and people are super chatting about your appearance on The View. Uh, we can have a look at this. Uh, let's hear it. It's a 30 seconds clip. So let's hear what they said today. Uh, let me. There was one small thing. You were saying, what's some good news? This is a tiny thing that I noticed. Uh, you remember Richard Spencer? He's basically the organizer of Unite the Right, Lunatic. the white nationalist group. And I think it's Megan McCain saying, oh yeah, lunatic, let's hear what then happens. Group that was marching in Charlottesville, it was all in for Trump. Not anymore. Here's his really? quote. He tweeted last night, I deeply regret voting for and promoting Donald Trump in 2016. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, that's, that's good. That's interesting. Do you that's, know why? Well, it, because it Trump, like I said Israel, yesterday, right? Trump ran on not invading and not being a war. That's monster. what I'm talking about. This was... And, this Quite fascinating to see the crowd applause in polite society, all applauding to Richard Spencer judging his view on Trump. <laughs> what is there to say about this? Uh, I, I was pleased by it. Um, you know, one thing I, I will say this, uh, you know, I, I, I am not a view watcher. Um, so, but I, I have seen clips from the view, mostly in terms of just Megan McCain, uh, acting like a spoiled brat or saying something un unbearably just stupid. Uh, you know, whenever she talks about, um, geopolitics, she'll start just mentioning her father, like my father, he was friends with Joe Lieberman and it's just, it's just, it is unbearable. Um, you know, but I, and I've seen Joy Behar in a lot of those clips and Joy Behar, you know, look, she's a, you know, a, a, I, I, I believe she is Jewish or, um, I don't know. I, I've never, I don't know. She, she might not be. I actually, could see in her, in but, her facial expression, she was warm to the idea of talking about you. She felt a little bit yes. bad because she introduced it with, uh, you know, Richard Spencer, uh, uh, it's a little thing. She, she was insisting that she was bringing a non-related subject. She felt bad right. about bringing your name in there, but she still did. And you could see in her face. I mean, if a, a younger woman doing that facial expression was doing it to me i would interpret her as being you know ready for sex <laughs> well i won't comment <laughs> I, I i won't uh won't comment on that matter but uh what i was about to say is that uh joy bayer she's um she, she's like a new york city comedian mm -hmm. and um i i i i think i i made a you know, joke. She kind of reminds me of this Mike Myers parody of Linda Richman, who was uh, a, a who had a talk show of you know we talk about dogs and uh, and stuff. You know, talk amongst yourselves. I'm a little verklempt. She, she reminds me a little bit of that kind of character. But whenever I've seen these clips that have usually involved Meghan McCain acting terribly, Joy Behar always struck me as kind of independent, an independent liberal. She she had her own thoughts. Uh, I usually uh, sympathize with her vis-a-vis -vis Meghan McCain. And she's a comedian, so she's kind of bound to be a little outside the box. So I, I was, uh, I was very pleased by it. Um, and uh, you know, I, I think what I want as a commentator is recognition, and that's something that is different than, say, either fame or infamy, or say, popularity uh, in, in the way that we see it on the internet now. The e celeb. Kind of people there are there are people on instagram who have diehard fans who say nothing of all and it's a kind of weird cult of personality or you know pics of boobs and, and cleavage and all that kind of stuff and and just nonsense or we see this with someone like nick fuentes you have the, a bunch of you know weird incels you know uh, uh watching you and 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 uh you you develop a cult like that i've, I've never wanted that uh in, at all uh, I want recognition as someone who has a serious perspective. You can hate me. You can think that I'm wrong. You can think that my ideas are dangerous, but I want to be taken seriously and for my ideas to be examined and thought about and considered. Uh, that is what I want. That is my impulse for going on to, you know, go, going into the trap of of the mainstream media is that you know yes there there are it's dangerous a lot of bad things can happen but a lot of great things can happen you can really change the conversation and you can be recognized as a thinker if we're simply all in these 
you know, enclosed communities of podcast and we're just talking to each other and you scream into an echo chamber and it becomes amplified. That that ultimately isn't winning. It's not really changing the discourse and it's not anything that I want to do. Um, I'll do it. I'll go on to some guy's podcast. It, it can be fun. But what I, I would much rather uh, have a 10 second clip on CNN in which I actually can reach people who are outside of our movement and change their minds. Um, so I am very, I'm very happy that this happened. And I am proud of Joy Behar for saying, uh, you know, for not just going into the, oh, Richard Spencer, he's literally Hitler, complete maniac, you know, he's murdering, you know, puppies in his spare time. And, and actually saying, well, look, this is interesting. Uh, this person whom I absolutely oppose in most areas actually has principles and there's actually a little bit of common ground. Uh, in my opinion, this kind of thing is extremely powerful. Uh, so I don't want to toot my own horn here too much, but I, I was pleased that this happened. Um, and uh, it is interesting that it will happen with a kind of independent liberal like Joy Behar. She's never going to be uh, accused of being a fascist or, you know, being a Richard Spencer fan. Uh, and so she can say this, whereas people on the right, like Ben Shapiro, I saw him tweet out, you know, an hour or so ago, he's clutching at his pearls, you know, uh, they, they'll, they, they'll applaud anyone, you know, you know, the, the, the view is now on the side of Richard Spencer and the Ayatollahs, you know, the the terrible, you know, white nationalist, uh, New York City comedian, uh, Islamic axis, <laughs> you know, that he opposes. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very glad it happened. I think it shows that Joy Behar has balls. Let's put it that way. She's a, she, whatever you want to say about her, she's actually pretty serious and she's willing to take people seriously and not just engage in the kind of name calling and, and cancel culture uh, that seems to define modern America. So. It's great. Absolutely. I agree with your point on us being analysts and penetrating the mainstream due to the quality of our arguments. This is what we've been working right. on. And what we've shown throughout the years is that people like me who care about putting this thing forward, intelligence and uh, and good arguments, uh, we survive longer than these e-celebs and we, our ride is smoother, really. And there's lots of people not wanting to engage with the mainstream media. We've seen both Coach Red Pill and Black Pigeon Speaks. They have received the emails from CBS. It seems that CBS is uh, currently planning interviews with right-wing personalities on YouTube. Uh, they have refused to meet them. I have a totally different policy. I will meet them. I'm glad to announce that I will be traveling to go uh, see the CBS people and be on CBS News. I think we can trust the mainstream media not to represent us always properly and yes, to smear us, but also it's a means to reach an audience. These There are eyes that will look at these interviews and even if they are manipulated to some extent, uh, we will reach uh, the, the, the good points that we can make in front of the camera, they will reach hearts out there. Yes, I, I also, also received an invitation. I have not responded to it yet because I've been thinking about it. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I guess I'm a little more inclined to do it now. I, 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 felt that, I, I felt that the mainstream media became more of a trap um, recently. Uh, the fact is, when I was doing all of these interviews, in um in 2016 and say the first half or three quarters of 2017 you should remember that there were all these liberals who were freaking out basically saying don't interview richard spencer and they were not saying that because i was looking like a fool uh they were saying that because i was ultimately overall looking good and getting ideas out there they didn't like it you saw another freak out after the cnn appearance i think back in july i came on your show uh, afterward. And uh, again, they they prefaced my appearance with, you know, hand wringing about white nationalism. But then I went on there and I said something that was truthful. And I actually, I guess, said something that probably a lot of their liberal viewers think. And uh, there was an equal outrage. Don't ever do this again. Uh, so it's, you know, again, the mainstream media, it's a dangerous game. I've certainly been burned by it. Uh, but, you know, Overall, if we want to move beyond these echo chambers, we have to engage with them. Absolutely. The mass